I'm Cindy Hoy. I'm the Executive Director of the Indiana State Fair Commission. We operate a 250-acre complex that's mission is focused on preserving this institution of the Indiana State Fairgrounds and then continuing to evolve it and make it better. During the 17 days of the fair, it's a hub of the State Fair. And then for the other uh, 300 plus days out of the year, it's a year-round event center. I did not go to school for agriculture. I grew up in the suburbs, but I always looked at the kids in the barns and thought, oh wow, I'd love to do that. So pursue your passion. Um, pursue whatever it is that makes you get up in the morning and says, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make this better. I think what it is, it's taking every opportunity and working as hard as you can to get something out of that opportunity. I tell you what my favorite quote is about courage, and it's from John Wayne. And you know, he said, courage is when you're incredibly afraid and you saddle up anyway. And I just believe that it is um, being able to stand up for what you believe is right. And sometimes it's lonesome being at the top and having to make some of those decisions. But you gather your partners, gather your stakeholders, um, and then fundamentally you have to make a decision. We learned some very tough lessons and again we had a choice to make and we made the choice of we're going to be stronger, we're going to be better, we're going to be the best at a comprehensive emergency management plan, we're going to be the best at managing safety. We've had to be courageous and to face some of those things head on but then become better because of it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Cindy Hoy. You can be amazing, you can turn a phrase into a weapon or a drug. You can be the outcast to be the backlash of somebody's lack of love. Or you can start speaking. Oh wow, what an honor. Can we just do a quick round of applause for these great leaders or growing up to be leaders in Girl Scouting? They're adorable. Um, so, okay, just like anybody, I, I dug into the old trunk and found I was with a Troop uh, 856. Now, I can point out some of these badges, like this one right here is ice skating at the Coliseum. Love that. But this little man here that's standing like this, he looks like he's on a saucer. If anybody has any idea what that was all about, <laughs> let me know. So um, Girl Scouts has, uh, has truly um, made a, um, an impression, both physically and emotionally um, with me. And Camp Delwood, um, I became a little entrepreneur, and um, I used to take sticks and saw them into wooden rings and use my Girl Scout knife, believe it or not, at the time, and make rings for 50 cents. Um, had a gold mine going until I had a career injury that happened with the hacksaw on this part of my thumb. So every time when I look down at my thumb, I remember fondly the Girl Scouts. So, so one of the things, and kind of getting serious for a minute, is when I was notified I was getting this about courage, I, well, of course, the first thing my husband said was, well, what do you mean? You're afraid of heights. And <laughs> um, so, of course, I Googled it, like anybody else would, right, in this day and age. And it's a French word, uh, courage is, and it, and it talks about your core. And, and what you really value. And then I go back to uh, Simon Sinek, who wrote this book. He wrote this book about you start with why. And it's not what you do, it's not how you do it, but it's why you do it. It's, it, it's what inside drives you. What drives me every day is to make the fairgrounds even better and better year after year. The core, your values, that's what courage really is. And you know, it's, it takes courage to stand tall um, for your beliefs um, and your values, and sometimes you have to dust yourself off a little bit, but you keep going. Now, my brownie leader and my Girl Scout leader taught me that. She said to me, she said, when you need some courage, you're going to stand up, you're going to throw your shoulders back, you're going to put your head up, 
And you're going to rely on your why and rely on your core beliefs and persevere and you're not gonna quit. So mom, <laughs> thank you for teaching me that. Thank you for teaching me how to be better, how to have courage, how to stand tall for what I believe in. And for you, Mom, I'm going to recite for you the serenity poem. You know, God grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change and the courage to change the things we can. So for all of you, I thank you. I'm so honored to be with all of you, and I appreciate this award so much. Thank you.